Evening folks. Um Right. A bit of a foolish video this. A lot of my videos are foolish I guess. But this is my um most recent eBay purchase. I was uh, lucky to get this quite cheap, you know it was only a fiver or something like that. Cost a few pounds for the shipping right enough, but I got it home. Basically it's an old carpenter's uh, tool chest. I wasn't really interested in the box, it was the contents I was uh, after. But I'll talk a little bit about the, the chest itself first. It's past its best, you know it's had a fair bit of wear to the corners. Uh, some of the, um, the, it's not laminate, but it's the, uh, what do you call it, plyboard is it? Some of that's starting to uh, come apart. The handle, it's seen the uh, better uh, days. I'm actually thinking about getting that uh, upholstered in leather and uh, refitting it. Wouldn't, wouldn't take much, I don't think, to get a couple of bits of leather sewn where this uh, plastic is at the moment. And that would make it look good. Uh, also, I'm going to um, give the the box itself a rub down and you know, repaint it. Just a you know, black again. Just whatever's handy. Now... One of the things I, I intend on doing, but I don't know when I'll, when I'll get it done, is to get some bits of uh, steel cut to size. Uh, this is 50 by 50. And then cut them along the diagonal there. Yeah, So I'll need three triangles uh, per corner. And I'll have them fitted like that, you know, I'll get it welded together. I did look for the on eBay, I thought, you know, I'd get them for a couple of quid, but I can't find anything that's going to be suitable, so I'll just have to make it. So, three of them together, like that, like sort of that, sort of, like that. A couple of holes for some small screws, and that'll just get screwed into place, just to protect the corners and help hold the box together because she has a bit of worn gain yeah so that aside the box is now empty um, and you know she's needing some work oh excuse me I've got a bit of a cold there uh. the hinges in places are a little bit loose but that's only going to take a, a little bit of work to restore that. And she's a decent size of box, you know, a decent size. And you can fit a lot in there. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is uh, partitioning it. And, re you know, using this basically as it was in initially intended for carpentry tools. So I'll maybe add some sort of way of retaining the saws up in the lid, you know, so that they don't rattle around too much. Um, have partitions set up so that um, there's specific compartments for uh, maybe my planes, for some chisels, a hammer or two, um, my electric plane and other, you know, bits and bobs. I'll, I'm sure I'll fill this up pretty quick. So anyway, that's enough about the, the box. Um, the contents were a miscellaneous bunch, right? I got a lot of, uh, well, crap basically. But there were some, you know, some bits and pieces in there that were alright as well. We have here a bag which contains not one, not two, not three, or even four. Oops. But five hammers, yeah? Now, nobody needs five hammers, eh? Uh, three of them are roughly the, the same in weight. There's one smaller one there, and that's 
that's a bit newer than the rest of them, or it doesn't seem to have had much use. Um, probably quite modern, but the 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 bit the best of the lot is this Thor mallet. We've got a copper face here, leather face there. The leather face is a little bit loose, but I can sort that. That's uh, probably 35 quid new, maybe more. So, you know, that that mallet by itself pays for the cost that I won the auction for. And we've got a, a small male head here as well, head of a male. So, she needs a handle, but I can, I can soon uh, get one of them made up. Excuse me. Now, other miscellaneous items we got was an old saw blade here. Now, this blade was quite rusty, but as you see, I've uh, I don't know, just what, that's just surface uh, dust that's on it there. Now, I've spent a bit of time um, uh, scraping this down with a hacksaw blade, getting all the rust off it because this side was pretty bad. Um, and then I use some steel wool to to rub the the last of the rust off. So and then I give it a little coat of some oil as well. So just to keep it shiny. Uh, so I'm in the process of doing this. Um, this side is partially done, and you can still see that there's areas where there's a uh, rust present. And you know the rust was. Um, there was a, a lot more rust on the other side, yeah, than, than on this side. Uh, I don't know if you, the camera will pick it up or not. Let's see. You can maybe see that there is some very light spitting in areas. Uh, but also, we have, I don't know if the camera will pick us up either. Uh, there's a lot of reflection from the light. Let's see if I can alter that. No, I don't think the camera's going to pick it up. Basically, it is. It says on here, Gordon Boyle and Co Limited. Uh, down here, warranted Sheffield cast steel, and in the middle, I can't quite make it out. It's is it Padco? S T A D Stadco. Not sure. I think there's an S there. Then it looks like an a T A D C O. So that must have been the company Gordon Boyle and Company Limited. Um, don't know what the Stadco is. I, I might be reading that wrong. It might be. Maybe another letter there. So it's using an old blade, yeah. Um, the handle here is made of wood. Most of the handles you'll get these days are plastic. So you know, unfortunately, she's a bit chipped. You know, there's been a, a bit apart. Is a part missing of it, which is a shame. But to, you know, to expect to off an old old blade. You can see here that when they uh, they cut the slot, they were not quite um, on centre. But they went to the effort of putting in some, I guess that's a wheat stock on the handle. Or something like that, I don't know. It's the same... Um, It's got, is it Esther? I 
stamped into it here as well E S T E E R is it? It's hard to make out. And there as well. Another thing I noticed is over here it's got I think it's D T stamped into it. Possibly what the owner of the blade at some point. D T. So anyway, no, that's a an old saw, she's a bit dull, uh, I've tried her out, you know, uh, I took sort of half a dozen cuts for her, then set her aside because she wasn't really cutting very well. But I believe she's, uh, um, if, you know, with a, with a, a sharpen she'll be uh, fine. And um, this is the uh, more modern blade, plastic handle you can see, Stanley. Uh, she cuts quite good actually. Um, she's all right, you know, good for a sort of, a, sort of you know, for doing some rough work with. Uh, I was cutting a bit of wood today and I knew there were some nails in it, so I just grabbed this one because it's 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 sharper than the old one here. Um, but she's getting past her best, I think. Uh, and she's probably not going to be worth the uh, sharpening, but I can always give it a go. Um, so yeah, you know, uh, two saws, both uh, usable. I'll oh, say two saws. I, I also got these uh, nice little. Um, I don't know what you call these types of saws. Um, there's one here with a wooden handle. I've cleaned these up somewhat because they were really rusty as well. Uh, I believe these to be quite blunt, but you know you could still cut wood with them, you know, with a bit of patience. Um, the blade on that one's quite good, nice and straight. This one I'm quite quite pleased with the little uh, cast iron hammer uh, handle you have. You've got a little wee um, butterfly um, screw here for tightening up on the blade. They never wasted time centering the hole, or it's maybe just the casting's not quite right. You know, the the, the hole here is in the centre of this side, but she's wandered and come out a little bit to the the left on this side. Uh, I'd say the blade on this this handle's a little bit sharper, but. Um, she's also a little bit twisted and, and bent in places, but again, it would get you know it would do in a, a tight spot, you know. So that's two little um, saw saws there, which will be you know useful for certain jobs. Uh, we've also got some miscellaneous spanners and fucking other tooling. Um, we've got what looks to be some sort of masonry chipping hammer. You know, maybe for pointing and stuff like that. Uh, she's needing a, a a wedge in the handle because it's just a couple of screws and a nail went uh, smacked in there. The now, so that's not really sufficient. I'll never use that. You know, I might just sort of clean it up and make it a little bit more secure, then flog it. But somebody could use that maybe got a handle for a file there you know that'd be a 50p or a pound or two to buy that we've got a few other files here we've got this is three of them a little wee triangular file with a handle on it a little square file and um, a flat file and the flat file is although it's got some rust on it that's brand new there's nothing wrong with that the the, the teeth on it are absolutely Crisp. There's bugger all wrong with that at all. I don't think she's had. Oh, sorry, folks. I don't think it's had any use at all. You know the teeth are. You know. Brand new, like so. That'd be a. I don't know. That'd be a couple of quid, a fiver, maybe. You know, maybe more. 
There's a couple of bigger files here. They've, they've had some use, I think. That one's reasonable. Um, you know, for some. You know, look at the fucking. That's that's what. Must be 18 inches long. That one. Uh, that's, that's a big heavy duty file. Like you don't see many of them about around anymore. And here's another one. She needs a bit of a clean. There's some sort of fucking resin or fucking some shite fucking st clogging the teeth up. You can see here that she has been used somewhat. There, there is the teeth here are, are dulled on this side somewhat. Not so mm, a little bit on this side also, but not not well. She's had some use, you know. But even if the file's buggered, that will still do for a scraper, for instance. You could sharpen it up on a grinder and, and turn it into a scraper. So that's uh, some some nice steel there. We've got a plumb bolt. Quite a nice little one. I don't know if that's homemade or if it's... No, it's no homemade. I'm seeing a, a hallmark on it. That's a hallmark. <laughs> Foreign. <laughs> so, it says I think it's B O S, and underneath it just says foreign. So I don't I don't know about that, but you know, it's just a just a plumb bolt there. Pipe cutter. Monument brand or made in England. The blade feels sorry, the blade feels relatively sharp. You need I need to try it on a bit of copper pipe before I, I could tell you if it actually works or not. Probably need a bit of a clean, but Handy for a plumber, maybe. Um, I'll likely not use that either. Some tin snips. Footprint tools. It's written along the top there. Footprint tools. Number 10, made in England. Well rusted. Might need a sharpen, but that'll do for something. I'll use that. A couple of old spanners. This is also in the box. We've got a three eighths and three eighths end is reasonable. Maybe some some um, deformation of the head. The half inch, she's been attacked with a grinder or something. You can see that she's well off the mark. Probably not use much use for anything. Might just chop that off and grind it up. The other one, another half inch, uh, Whitworth. Is it Whitworth? Don't know. I'd say that's quite worth. And uh, seven sixteenths. Both seem to be in well reasonable condition. Usable anyway. And on the side of it, we have a is that a, a, a sailboat. Can't quite make it out. Or is it a snail? I don't know what that is. Made in England anyway. So what else have we? Oh, there's this same um, old screwdriver. She's been ground up roughly. Um, that might be res You know, I might be able to rescue that. Or do a better job than what's been done with it already. Anyway, unfortunately, the handle itself has been uh, split 